Hi, my name is Andrew Benton. I am an engineering student and I live in Atlanta. So honestly, it started because I felt like most facets of my life were pretty well taken care of, minus women. And from what I, I listened to the podcast for two or three months, and that was enough to kind of show me, like I changed a lot in the two to three months of just listening to the podcast. And then from that, I was just like, what could happen if I actually go and like do this in person? I had been listening to the podcast and I really didn't want, I didn't like the whole like pickup thing. And I really felt that the art of charm was much more about like being me and not being manipulative, manipulative like some other content that I had seen. So the whole being myself was really big for me because I'm very, it's really important to me that I try to be myself whenever I can. And I really didn't want to like have this be like manipulating. And I feel like the Art of Charm is really good at that. I was a little skeptical at first, but once I took, once I listened to the podcast and I listened to all the episodes, I figured there's no way that you could get through 300 and something episodes and just be pulling the wool over my eyes. Um, I felt like that was probably enough episodes to be able to determine that it was good stuff. When I got there, everyone, like all the instructors were just really like grounded. They were really like happy. They were really accepting. And I just felt very comfortable. And then once we went into the content, they knew everything they were talking about. Whenever I had a question, and I typically have a lot of those, um, they were always willing to, willing and able to answer. Um, and that the exercises were fantastic. I learned, I'm just amazed and blown away by how much I learned in about a week. I really enjoyed the program. That was up to that point in my life. That was probably like the best week I had had in my life. Um, it was super fun. Stuff we were doing during the day was like shattering my expectations of how the world worked. I was getting to interact with all these really cool guys during the day and at night I was meeting cool women out on the street. Um, and I was just feeling like more confident. I felt like walking around LA, like I like owned the city. Um, so I really, I really enjoyed the program. So a short story from the program. I remember the first night at field night, I looked to my left and I saw this cute girl like giving me the like get over here eyes. And I remembered like the times before where I'd been in that same situation and like walked away or like rationalized not going over. But then before I knew it was happening, like my feet were just moving over there. And I walked up, we had a great conversation. Um, I actually still talk to her today. So I'd say that was probably, that was like an aha moment for me. I think what I got out of the boot camp that I couldn't have gotten on my own was the experience. Um, I felt like I got a lot of the like knowledge and I think a lot of that was out there. I think a lot of that you could get from the podcast. I mean, granted, there was extra knowledge that was taught at the boot camp, but really it was the experience and having the support group there to where when you're taking a risk and kind of being vulnerable and going out and doing the exercises, you can come back to a group of guys that are doing the same thing and they're like, oh man, that was great how you did that. That was awesome. Like, good job. I definitely use this stuff on a daily basis. Um, I'm in college and I've just noticed since the program, like when I'm walking around campus, like people just like look at me differently. Um, people will like smile at me. Typically if I go up and talk to someone, they're like very open and receptive. Um, I'm in a class right now where we have to go interview people. Uh, we have to interview like 20 people a week, random students. and. I mean, that's, I've done that now. And that's something I have experience with, I'm confident doing. And I would say my relationships have definitely gotten better. Like I, when I, I remember talking to you about the program and you kind of asked me what I wanted and I didn't really mention networking and you kind of threw that in at the end and you were like, oh, well, what about networking? And I was like, that's, yeah, yeah that's important. But honestly, I'd say, the networking skills that I learned at boot camp are probably what I use more than anything. So I think really anyone can benefit, anyone and everyone. I know I can only speak from my experience and it really 
it really helped me like break through to um, I'm much happier now. Um, I feel like I kind of know where I'm going in life. I'm much more satisfied with my days when I get done with them. Um, and specifically, I think people who are kind of lost or I know I used to kind of feel like I was floating through life, not really experiencing it, just kind of like getting through day to day. And I think people that are doing that could really benefit from this. What I would say is if you have any excuses about taking the program, like just just do it. Like just do it. I had some excuses and there's a money back guarantee. Like you I have no one that I've talked to that I've met at the programs or that I've interacted with since regrets doing it. And that's a lot of people. So I would say just do it.